Hi, my name is Roger. I'm Superclub Spanish translator and a huge fan of the game. And here's the fourth part of my series of videos explaining the rules of the Powerhouses expansion. In this video, we will learn about the leader trait, one of my favorite traits. I find it adds a new dimension to the game. The leader trait is a trait introduced by the Powerhouses expansion for the first time and is represented by the captain symbol on some player cards. When playing with this mechanism, a player card must have this trait in order to get the full effect of the captain boost. If you don't have a leader, or if you place the captain boost on a player who is not a leader, the captain boost is halved. Also, a player must be played in his position, because traits are not active for a player playing out of his position. That is, a midfielder with a leader trait playing as an attacker will lose this trait, and therefore a captain boost on him will only contribute half its value. If this captain boost is a plus 6, it will just contribute 3 stars. If it's a 5, it will contribute 2.5 stars, and so on. So, if during the draft you have the chance to get a good player with a leader trait, go for it. He will probably be very useful from Season 2 onwards. Once you have one possible captain in every third, or at least in two strong thirds, you will have good tactical flexibility. It would be nice as well to have some backup leaders in case of injury. And that's it! Now you're ready to start playing with the powerhouses and the leader trait. Have a great game.